First up, bad example. I'm gonna go to a bit of a time lapse and show you what most of my students do when they first join graphics. Definite no-nos all over this little presentation now. So Neville Brody, quick, what we're gonna do? Copy and paste, stick it in Google. Need to find a picture of his face immediately. Yes, there it is, it's come up straight away. Let's get him on, let's get it copied, get it pasted. Back to a slides, quick whack him on, nice and big. Want him bigger than that, everybody needs to see Neville Brody's face. What am I gonna put in here? Now, oh, what is this, get rid of this. Don't wanna donate, just wanna find out about Neville Brody, everything about his life, where he went to uni. Just copy and paste that for now, I'm in a rush. Quick, get it on, get it on. Yes, gonna have to go back to Wikipedia. Gonna have to figure out how to get rid of this skip notice. Oh, yes, there's a close button. That's mint. Now I can get all these education details up. I'm not going to read them. I'm just going to stick them in. That's what I'll probably want. Whack them in. That's it. Oh, some of them are blue. I'm going to have to faff around changing them to black just so teacher doesn't know that I've copied and pasted this. Don't matter that it's different fonts. It's only graphics. I'm sure fonts don't matter. Bit of bonus information for teacher here. Find out what pets Neville Brody's got. Oh, there's nothing about his pets. Maybe he's not got pets. What else? Oh, it's graphics, isn't it? Favourite colour. Let's get that on there. Nobody's answering this. Why is nobody answering what Neville Brody's favourite colours are? I don't get it. Oh, this'll do. Where did he study? Yeah, I think I've already got that from Wikipedia, but I'll put it in again because it's probably important. Just whack it on end. There we go. Right, this page looks a bit rubbish, doesn't it? What can I do to make it look better? Got a perfectly readable typeface as a font, quick. Let's whack it in like, I don't know, maybe, well, save, we'll save Comic Sans for when we do some annotation. Let's get a nice bit of script up there, that's it. Oh, yes, I've got Comic Sans on Google Slides, what a bonus. All teachers love that, even graphics teachers, I'm sure I'll think it's mint. Just to top it off, we'll uh, mix and match some fonts because, you know, heard something about type hierarchy once, that'll that'll be fine. It's looking a bit boring this page, isn't it? What, what can we do to it? Like, I felt there's not enough distractions on it. What about just, I, oh, this, this is it, this is it. Right, get a few random shapes in, but, you know, I'm not daft. I'll set them to the back because uh don't want to cover his face up, do we? Yeah, there we go. Set it to the back. Probably copy that as well. Get it over at text. Because text is pretty rubbish, actually, now I've read it, so probably want to just try and mask that. I'll just ghost this title as well, you know, like give it a bit of a drop shadow. That'll look cool. Oh, yes, it's starting to come along now. This is going to look mint. Oh, don't know about that. It's got, a, like, a weird highlight effect, but uh, I don't know. I suppose it makes it stand out on that circle, so it'll be fine. It'll be fine. No worries. Presentation's not an issue, is it? Oh, beautiful. What a page. Teacher will love that. No, no, they won't. They really won't how to get better at these pages. So it's not rocket science. You need a good few sources to sort of direct yourself to. I've put some of my favorites up there in orange and then there's other ones that you can have a look at as well. Now, this is quite wordy, but what I'm trying to show you is that it links to assessment objective one and we're not just getting you to write about work for the laugh. This is the sort of information that's really important. So you don't want to miss any of that out. That critical opinion is one of the most important things that you can do. And if you've not put anything that is in your own words, sort of talking about whether you like the work or not, that is gonna lose your major marks. You need to discuss the design visually and technically, and then where possible, look at contextually and conceptually, why did they design it like that? If you're looking at branding work, sometimes the reason for them doing it is fairly obvious. They're trying to sell your products, they want it to look cool. But if you're looking at something that's maybe a little bit more conceptual, that's gonna be quite hard for you to do. This page here, I would screenshot if you find it useful. So it just breaks it all down, some keywords, sentence starters, important thing down there, the opinion. No one can really help you with that, it's your opinion. You got to show an understanding of visual language. So each slide needs to be thoughtfully designed. You can't just throw it together. If you think about that abomination that I've just showed you to do with Neville Brody, it looked horrific. Nobody would think that this student has got a good grasp of graphics from looking at that page. As a suggested sort of template, you could use this. It doesn't have to look exactly like this, but just think, how are you gonna break up the information and the pictures that you've got all on the same page? You can use more than one page as well. It doesn't have to be one page. Another screenshot page, technical vocab, have a look on there, keywords. If you don't know what they mean, Google them, ask your teacher. Most of them you will know of, but you just don't think of using them. We've got a few examples in here now from different students and sometimes they spam more than one page but it's just an idea of how you can lay it out. This is a two-parter so there's the analytical and a little bit of opinion down there. It's been quite clever because this page beforehand is reworked. The designer Chris Rathbone's content is put down there that he's redesigned this work using found imagery but it's got to have some awareness of composition and some design skills to come up with that and it's quite a nice sort of title dividing slide within his work. Depending on who you're looking at, you might want to look at videos. It's not always the case that the page is going to be full of text. 
It depends. If you're looking at an artist at the beginning of your project who informs the entire thing and it's the sort of sole inspiration for you doing it, you should be writing loads. If this is like a page that you're rushing just before you're on your final piecing because you've made a shoebox and you've not actually talked about anyone who's making shoeboxes and presenting trainers, then obviously you're doing it in a rush, but you still want to include it. Getting something in there is better than nothing and it is always going to be better than getting this old matey up full screen. Don't always work, it looks like. All I know is this is what his face is. Don't tell me anything. No analysis. Horrible text. Horrible ghosting. Horrible background. Blech. See ya.